teachers. What was the worst thing a substitute teacher did while you were gone? When I was a substitute, I got a lot of requested jobs because the substitute pool was poor. One such example given to me was a substitute who would just go to sleep. I barely believed it. Once I was teaching full time, I had a sub come in for a day. When I got back my students told me that he told them to leave him alone, sat down, and went to sleep. I believed it then. When I was in high school, we had a regular in the pool of subs who would just sleep through every class. He was very popular with students. When I was in high school, had a sub do this, we all left early except for a few kids. One of the kids told us later that when the sub woke up he noticed all the kids that left, looked at the remaining kids, and asked them why they hadn't left yet. Great times. I came back after being gone one day and my students told me the substitute teacher flipped over tables in a rage and was escorted from the building by a cop. What actually happened is that the sub left the room to take a 20 minute phone call and the kids thought it would be funny to flip the tables over. The substitute then had to flip the tables right side up while yelling at the kids. Then, during lunch, my special edition co-teacher came into my room to set up and caught the sub making out with a student. Turns out she was 18 to his 25 and the 20 minute phone call was to set up the lunch meeting. The principal then had him escorted from the building by the resource officer. This is why I say, having a sub is more work than just coming into school my damn self. I'll just come, do it my damn self. Lol that's how I see you pep talking yourself when you are wanting a day off, but don't want the drama. Gave out snacks I bought with my own money that I kept for kids who stayed after to get tutoring. Threw out a broken electric pencil sharpener that kids broke in front of her. Which again, I bought with my own money and couldn't get replaced by the company because I had no product to send back. I still don't have a sharpener for my room. Let the kids go through my things in my cabinets and desk. Lost a bunch of stuff that way. Hey 29 mig 152 Amazon delivers all over the world. Where can I send you a pencil sharpener? 1. Asked a deaf kid to take off his hearing aids. Kids tried to tell her he needs to them, but to her they looked like headphones. She cried when was confronted by another teacher. 2. When I was in 6th grade I fractured my wrist, but it was my dominant hand, so I had to poorly write with my right. Teacher forced me to write with my left while I had a cast. I couldn't even grasp the pencil. Cried a lot. Then a couple months go by and got my cast off. Sub told me to suck it up and write with my left hours after getting my cast off. I felt like jelly and intense pain. Teacher was fired at the end of 7th grade because of unnecessary complaints. Edit. I should've realized this was a teacher's question not a student cue. This is considered my first post that I really thought wouldn't get noticed. And now my inbox is full of messages. To clear some questions. I would never steal someone's story and both stories are very true. But probably be something similar you have encountered before. Also, the teacher should know how to treat students in any situation whatsoever. If teachers really hate their jobs, don't include kids into it. I remember crying asking my mom why does my teacher pick on me or make me do things I couldn't do. My brother had a PE teacher who requested he run with a torn Achilles tendon. She was probably older than the Achilles the tendon was named after. Similar story from when I was 14, my performing arts teacher got shitty at me for sitting out of dancing lessons when I injured my knee in pec class the week before. I had a brace on and crutches, she thought they were props sure, my parents dropped $300 on medical equipment, just so I didn't have to walls. She also didn't believe my doctor's note because I have crappy, scratchy handwriting so she thought I wrote it. She dragged me to her office and was all like I'm gonna call your father in thinking she was calling my bluff. I'm in my 30s now and my knee still aches sometimes but every time it does I smile remembering my dad ripping her a new one for interrupting him at work and wasting everyone's time when she could have verified I'd legit gotten hurt by talking to my pet teacher. Accused a student of stealing something that the aide had put away. This was a class that contained some pretty rough students including one suspended multiple times for fighting and some gang members. 
she decided to go after a sweet, petite girl that never caused trouble and was generally popular with her classmates. This set off the entire class which is when the sub went ballistic and started wildly throwing accusations and yelling at said students. Security eventually got called and took several students out. My first clue was when the sub got my cell number from the staff directory and went off for 20 plus minutes about how bad my students had been. This was followed up with an extremely long email and a two page written note on my desk plus a concerned note from the administrator about not having appropriate sub plans she didn't follow them in the first place and decided to throw me under the bus. The next morning, when I arrived at school, the students were waiting for me at the door. Once I got them calmed down enough to tell their side of the story, we had a discussion on how they could have handled the situation differently. I promised them never to get that sub again. On a related note, I had a good relationship with said rough children because I treated them with respect and fairness. They usually behaved for me. On a side note, it's insane how easy it is to get even the most crazy of individuals like a normal human if you just treat them with a bit of decency and respect. I was homeless for a while, but I had this sort of immunity to getting targeted by bullies because 1. I was friends with everyone and 2. If I had something I shared it so there was no point in wondering if I was hiding something. I wasn't. Left my perfectly prepped and neat desk an absolute disaster. Did not follow the lesson plan and took my gel pens. I had a sub steal my dry erase markers and emergency chocolate at once. After that, I locked my drawers and left them with two pens and one dry erase marker. Edit, till how many people don't know what emergency chocolate is. It can be for you, your work friends, or in my case, occasionally also for students who are having a tough day and might be cheered up a little by some chocolate. It builds goodwill. Go get yourself some and make sure it's the good stuff. The mixed bag of individually wrapped Ghirardelli squares is my recommendation. It's a small portion, and just one of those feels like a treat. Not the emergency chocolate. This happened to my colleague, but I was the classroom next door. My colleague was showing Clash of the Titans at the end of the year after a unit on Ancient Greece. There is mild nudity at the beginning and the end of the movie, but they were in the middle of the movie so there shouldn't have been an issue. He left the video paused at the right spot we still had VCRs like 10 years ago when this happened, but the sub somehow managed to show both the nudity at the beginning and the end of the movie. The nudity scenes were hours apart, and the class was only 40 minutes. Then, the sub wrote an email to the principal about how my colleague made him show nudity. That's phenomenal. I actually had a similar incident with a sub and the Clash of the Titans movie, though I was a student at time. Apparently our substitute didn't know that there would be nudity in the film. So when the topless woman breastfeeding popped up on screen, she sprinted to the front of the classroom to try and physically cover the TV with her body. Catholic school lol. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more curated daily reddit stories.